Hey, what's up, y'all? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, welcome to this video where I show you how to make a pluck really easily. Uh, we're going to use Omnisphere for this example. Of course, you can use different plugins. Um, this is just, you know, you're using Omnisphere for an example. It's pretty easy. And you can use this technique in other plugins, but um, it's more like an introductory to sound design, that type of thing. So that way you can make your sounds unique and just cater it to your own sound because these sounds that you make you know it's very difficult for someone else to make it so uh, anyway we'll get into it um, if you like to follow me you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats or um, Instagram as well at sounds for producers so we're gonna choose Omnisphere here in the channel rack and we're in FL studio um, of course these other plugins work in other DAWs so you can definitely use other DAWs so choose Omnisphere and when you choose Omnisphere, it opens up in its default state with its default sound. And I believe it's a like a saw wave or whatever. See, default. And it opens up in the main window here. Um, so we're going to actually go under A. Click here to go under A. And this is kind of the default sound, like I said, is using a, yeah, a saw square. Um, wave building wave so what we're going to do is actually focus on the en envelope section and i know this can get very overwhelming especially if you're not into sound designing uh, but over time you'll get better and better at it so under f mods we're actually going to bring down the sustain because we're not going to modulate anything so cool uh, filters we're going to leave that alone for now and with um to make a pluck, um, usually you want to bring this sustain. This A is attack. This is decay, sustain, release. So we're going to bring down the sustain. Notice already like how short it is. And let's bring down the decay just a little bit and see what happens. And raise the release. Already you hear how short it is, right? By bringing that sustain down and decay a little bit. Sometimes you get like a little glitch there, but that's cool. So uh, now that we have that, um, we can look into the, uh, we can go to filters, but I'm gonna leave that alone for now. And if you click this little zoom button right here under oscillator, um, you can go to see what type of oscillator uh, you would like to use. Um, so you don't have to worry about messing with these parameters yet. You can explore in them and just try different things. But um, you can try different oscillators. And what that is, uh, it changes the sound a bit. So let's try this FM. Um, of course, you got six other options. Turn this up a little bit. And of course you can look at and see what's going on. Uh, these are oscillators, so there's different, my bad, different um, things you can use. And I could have just put in some MIDI or whatever. Actually, that might be what I'll do. Let's uh, create just a quick pattern or something. So this way, you know, you can really hear what's going on. Um, let's, I don't know. Let's do a... I just built a minor chord, and that's a quick way of making a chord. So 
So just something really simple. It's kind of corny, but I'm just creating something really fast. So. So we're not going to play that over and over and have you go crazy. <laughs> so you can pick different um, oscillators uh, by clicking the zoom button in this uh, section A. So now basically what we're choosing is which um, one we would like to use. That's the granular. You can do some cool stuff in there, but I'm not going to go too far where I confuse everybody. So unison sounds pretty cool. Uh, this is a good starting point for like a, you know, basically, you know, with the main, you heard how plain it sound. And when you try different um, oscillators and then you can mess around with some parameters, you can get some cool stuff. So I actually created the basic building block of the pluck. And we're going to go back to the main area and notice how like, oops, uh, there we go. Notice how it sounds a lot. It sounds like there's some phasing going on and it sounds pretty cool so far as you're building it. So as I play that, I'm, I'm going to turn on the filters and you can mess around with a bunch of different filters, but usually low pass. Uh, gives you some cool stuff um, and I do recommend going through all of these just to see what you like so let's start with dual juicy LPF 24 DB uh, D, DB um, you can try all of these I know which ones I kind of like uh, depending on what I'm making uh, so let's try that you might like that you can choose that but this uh, I think it's this one Parallel wide, maybe. Rich and Moogie. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. So, and then you can mess around with the, um, well, you don't have to worry about the key. With some of these parameters here. Uh, see, what's special about sound design, you can kind of experiment as you're going. Uh, but this is a cool way. You start with the envelopes, and you notice these are the um, settings here you you're mainly working with the sustain and release but always bring that sustain down for a pluck usually pads are long uh sustain a lot longer so check it out and as i bring it down raise the release and remember you click this zoom button and oscillator to choose the type of oscillator you want. We chose the unison. So let's go back here. And this is and this is just one layer of the sound. You can have multiple layers. It used to be just two in Omnisphere, uh, but now there's four. And on top of that, let's go back to the filter section where I left off. You can mess with the cutoff. I don't want it too bright and a key and we're gonna mess with the envelope a little bit there and that type of filter so when you messed around and chose whatever um, low pass filter you wanted, you can try other filters too. You never know what you'll make. And once you do all that and you kind of find where you want the cutoff, the, how much resonance and the key, I forgot exactly what that is. Um, I noticed the sound. Let's see. Obviously, it's opening up the sound as I increase it, 
So I think it's built from the resonance. Um, and as I go de decrease it, it's actually um, closing the sound off. So now that we have the filter and the envelopes pretty much chosen, we can actually start adding effects. And this is where it gets really cool. Um, you can always just go drop effects and there's a type of reverb that I liked and I forgot what it was. Um, I think it's, I do not know, but you can try everything. And of course there's presets here so you can have you know you open up some of the presets and create your own sound um there was a modulation thing analog chorus let me see if i can find it now, i don't want to make the video too long but here is where you can um add just different things was it creative quad resonance Inner space. Let's try that. Wow, I actually forgot about this one. So anyway, you can spend some time on picking different um, effects and actually, you know, twist knobs, you know, push buttons. And that way you learn more of these, these type of effects. And then you know what each effect does and you can just revisit it in a whole different sound. So now that you have like a pretty good pluck sound with some cool effects going on, um, you can mess around. What was it? The shape that I was playing around with? And notice when I change the shape, I'm changing the shape of the waveform, that saw square wave um, that it initiated with. So notice when I change the shape a little bit. And it gives it that nice open pluck sound. So I created a sound just off the top in this uh, video here. And this is amazing where, you know, you can explore in these three sections and just try different things. Um, I can mess around with the filters in the envelope. And what's cool, you can actually clone this and create a whole nother sound. Let's say I, I love this sound and then I want to make a pad out of it and you just uh, raise the sustain. It's a little harsh to the ear because of the type of effects that I used in this one. So, um, but yeah, you definitely want to explore a bit uh, like the sym uh, symmetry. Hard sync, increase phasing. Now, just changing those few things, I have a different sound. So, uh, those are the quick steps. You know, start with the envelope. You know, you want to make sure your sustain is down. You can play around the decay. The attack, um, you can make it less harsh by raising the attack. Basically, is taking longer time to reach the initial uh, transient of the sound but I like it for plucks you want to keep that down usually uh, then you want to go to the filters and you can choose well usually after the envelope my bad you want to go to the oscillator and choose what type of um, oscillator you want to use you can really experiment with that you come up with some cool stuff after you've chosen that and possibly mess around with the parameters uh, you can go to the filters and choose what type of filter you want. Go through all those. Uh, usually you want to start with low pass, especially if you're making a pluck. 
Um, and after that, you can go to effects and choose whatever type of effects. You can try presets, go all in, all around in there and try different things. And then you can mess around with the shape, the symmetry or whatever. Uh, but if you're happy with a sound while doing those, some of those things, leave it and save it as your own sound because you're creating sounds as you go. And the more sounds you create, the more unique you are as a producer. This is some powerful stuff because some of these sounds you may never create again the same and somebody else will never create it because you made it. So, and that rhyme, my bad. So uh, again, it's DJ Fanatic Beats. You can follow me on Instagram if you like at DJ Fanatic Beats or Sounds for Producers on Instagram as well. So um, definitely explore. You know, uh, sound design does take patience. You know, you want to sit down when you're, you know, chilling out or whatever, or you just don't feel like making beats at the time and you want to just make some sounds, you know, put an hour into it, put two hours into it, and you come up with some dope stuff. Content contributor from liveoffbeats.com. Keep making dope stuff and don't let nothing stop you. Peace.